guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the Two Toys channel. Uh, so this is, um, yeah, I'm pretty much excited, very, very excited to actually get this in my hand. Um, this is uh, the collaboration between Pop Race and also Eno, the um, Nissan Skyline GTR R32 Pandem in retro livery, the Panzoil uh, livery. This is actually something that's really, really very classic. Uh, when I did uh, a research, uh, basically the only ones I saw in um, real life was the uh, the R33 and also the R34, and uh, in white body, of course, is uh, um, none of them are in the Pandem body kit. So this is actually a uh, livery <laughs> retro livery concept, which I really like. Uh, the white body with the uh, the Panzoil uh, iconic yellow and black combination. Okay. And um, of course, the other thing is uh, this fairly new background we have in here. Uh, this is actually something that I commissioned um, Legit64 to help us to, to build. Uh, do check them out on their Instagram, uh, Legit64, number 64. Uh, they, are, they make very, very cool um, garage accessories and also um, figures. And I'll, I'll just do a very quick run through of some of the items that I have in here. So um, just to give you a quick snapshot, Yep, can you recognize where is this? Okay, if you can recognize it, just let me know in the comment section below, right? So, um, but pretty much on this video, this is my focus on the uh, the uh, Penzol R32 first, okay? So in the box, it's in the pop race kind of uh, type of box rather than just a sleeve, okay? It's a, a box type where, you know, you can pull it out here, all right? So this is actually very nice. Uh, we have the Eno logo, the Pop Race logo. This is a licensed um, Nissan product, and I believe it's definitely licensed by Pandem as Pandem as well. Okay, and the back is a huge as Panzol Skyline um, logo at the back. Okay, on the side is Pop Race, and Pop Race on the other side as well. Okay, so uh, right now, as far as I recall, there have been. Uh, how many of them now? Um, we have the black pandem bodies. I'm talking about pandem bodies, not the R32. The R32, I think there is already close to <coughs> what 15. I have a couple of them here. Uh, just do a quick count. I think there's 15 of them already in very quick succession. So uh, while the white body, right? White body, we don't have that many yet, which I'm very grateful. So I previously I do have some of them displayed. Uh, there, but I uh, ran out of space. I had to make space for the two new Sylvias. So I ran out of space, so I kind of kept them behind. Um, this was the first one. No, sorry, this is not the first one. The first one was the matte grey, yes. The matte grey body, and then we had this, uh, the metallic black, and then we had that uh, black chrome. So that tree is kind of missing from this setup right now. Uh, what I have is <laughs> a little bit of story, backstory. That one is the uh, from Initial Model. The R32, uh, R35, um, second release. That's why the blue is slightly different. And then I have that RX7 in orange. Um, these figures, right, it's a mix uh, from Legit64 and also from Miles, uh Miniatures. Miles is actually from Sarawak, uh, Malaysian base as well. Legit is also from Malaysia, they're based in Kuala Lumpur. So uh, it's quite a homegrown kind of mix. In the background there, I have a couple of figures, two figures from... Um, Momo kid actually, so he is also fairly new in uh, uh, making figures. So uh, he he's kind enough, you know, to pass me two to actually put in my display. Do check him out on on Instagram as well. All right, I will put all of their handles uh, after this video. Do check it out. Um, the their links on my description later. Okay. So uh, yes. So I was saying we have that three uh, different ones that is not here. Okay, the three different uh, colors. And then we have the uh, the white body matte moto, okay. And then we had the Toyota tires, and then now we have the Penzoil version. All right. So again, uh, just to carry on a little bit on the backstory, right? These are new figures. They are fairly new release, about two weeks back from uh, Miles Miniatures. They are actually based on um, the HO driver of this car, which is uh, Eko Gao. Um, she's actually a female drift driver in China. Okay, quite a famous one. So this is her in uh, a racing gear, 
and um, this is her in a more casual kind of gear with the extra uh, helmet so that <clears throat> okay so this this is how uh, the, the the drift goals came in okay and then it came in a sleeve and um, so this one set all right that's that's her okay all right so that's how it comes with even the uh, this is actually a pretty much a remake of our own remake of the fast and serious so that's Brian and that's Han uh, with his GTR and his so-called um, RX-7 back there all right but still let's get back to what uh, I want to really share you guys so I'm just gonna turn up the light a little bit I have a little a kind of a newer setup today so I hope to give you guys a better look at uh, some of the cars that that I feature on my channel nowadays there we go there so this is I, I always thought that you know did a, a brilliant job on this um, R32 Pandem uh, white body kit I at this price range that that's the other that's the other point that that you know is very important to make um which because the initial model ones are easily almost double the price of these uh you know models so you know at this price point this is actually something that i feel is really uh worthy to collect because the way you know the entire thing is being executed um the way the body sits very low and uh, hugging sort of hugging the ground and hugging onto onto the wheels as well um, at the back okay you can see that <laughs> fat fat ass that fat sexy ass okay uh, the details on the lights you know that, that very iconic um, GTR tail lights okay that little Panzoil and Bridgestone logo at the back you know it's all very very well uh, executed the Potenza logo as well and then we can see the uh, roll cage on the inside it's a very very detailed roll cage in there okay on the side the uh, fuel cap detail man look at this thing I just love the shape of this thing man this is freaking nuts the side mirrors are done very nicely um, with that reflective I think I believe it's sticked on it's a film reflective film that's sticked on the headlamps as uh, really really stick as well the intercooler and then the Panzer logos okay on a bonnet as well and this yellow is really really very nice okay so I am really really happy that I didn't miss uh, on on their previous release and I'm really happy I'm, I, I actually have a so-called a complete uh, collection of this uh, white body R32 something that I'm really really happy about so this will definitely sit very nicely in my display <laughs> here okay so yeah that, that's the key one that, that I want to share um, yeah so that's about it for this time around as usual I will be taking close-up photos of this guy and uh, putting them on my Instagram remember to follow me there virtutoys.mj okay remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my diecast videos all right thank you very much for watching guys bye